Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back, or should I say, welcome to the first video of Talking RYGK with G's. I want to thank you all for tuning in to the very first episode. And to give you guys some context, we're going to be talking a whole lot of Rangers, Yankees, Giants, and Knicks. The best of New York sports. And I'm your host, G's. Whether you guys are watching on Spotify, YouTube, or whatever, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you drop a like and follow us. Make sure to keep updated with us on all our social medias. Links will be in the description. Like I said, we're going to be talking a whole lot of New York sports. We're going to have different co-hosts each week, guests such as different creators, different sports fans all around the globe, hear different opinions, and talk sports news. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How about them G-Men? Let's talk about them Giants, baby. Defeat the Vikings. Defeat the Vikings 31-24. to Moving on to Philly next Saturday to face your Eagles. There's only one problem. The Giants haven't won in Philly in nearly a decade. But that changed this Saturday. In Danny Dimes, we trust. Speaking of Philly, there's this whole controversy going around right now that they're taking it as some sort of joke. During the Giants and Viking game on Sunday, they ordered Pizza Hut and watched the game. So there's this whole controversy going around that they're not taking the G-Men serious. So if not, they got something else coming for them Sunday. We're going to hit them hard. Let's go Giants, baby. G-Men. Our way. Is Philly pizza that bad that you got to go with some Pizza Hut? Come on. It's not an old Italian guy that could cook up a nice slice. There has to be. Pizza Hut, bro. Pizza Hut. But the Giants have pretty much been all or nothing over the last 20 years. Every time we made it, we either executed to the Super Bowl or... That's it. This feels like one of those times that we could go big or go home. Our way or no way. So the real question is, can the big blue do it and bring one home for New York? We'll find out this Saturday. It starts with Philly. Then we got the Cowboys and 49ers. I'm going to go with the Niners on that. Let's talk Daniel Jones. Big, big career game for him. Two passing touchdowns. And he actually set a and he actually set a NFL record. Let me pull it up. The first player all time with 300 pass yards, two plus passing touchdowns, and 70 plus rush yards in a postseason game. DJ was working that game. Big shout out to Isaiah Hodgins, too. Just working his ass off. Saquon coming up big too, as always. What a game. Big win. Let's keep, let's take this momentum into Philly and hopefully walk away with the win. And another big shout out I want to give to is Coach the Bull. The ball, the balls. So much work he's put in this season. The team's not all there, I know yet, but just the way he's been able to. Put things together and it's just clicking. It's just clicking. Big shout out to the Bull. What he's done to this team is just tremendous. All right, we're going to get a Giants fan on the line, see what he thinks of the team, what he's got to say. Let's get him on the line. Right, let's go. You got it. How's it going, bro? Pretty good. How are you? Chilling. All right, so. Obviously, big game going into Saturday. Mm -hmm. See, so you got a little Eagle shirt going on there yourself. What's going on with that? It's a band, not uh, not uh, not the Eagles. I'm not an Eagles fan. Trust me. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm chirping. But what do you think we got to do going into this Saturday to stop the Eagles? Um, it's definitely going to be a battle. I mean, Eagles have. A very good offense, probably one of the best offenses and one of the best defenses. Um, 
I'm not, there's a lot of things. I'm not saying we don't have a chance at all. There is definitely a chance um, shown how good of a game we played against the Vikings. Um, I thought everybody was playing well. Jones, Barkley, the defense. Um, I think we just have to go in there and just play how we play every single game and just we come out on top, we come out on top. I think Dave Ball is knows how to coach this team, and he showed it all season. And I think he showed it, especially in the last game against the Vikings in that playoff game. So I think there's definitely a fight and chance that we can advance and beat the Eagles. Definitely. Our way. Our way. <laughs> yep. What a game by fucking – what a game by Daniel Jones last week. 300 plus passing yards, 70 plus rushing, two mm-hmm. passing TDs. I believe third ever quarterback to do that in a playoff game. I think I saw. Nuts. Nuts. Yep. And I'm not going to hold you up. Appreciate you coming, but I just got one more question. Is, mm-hmm. there, is there anything in this team that reminds you of the 2012 or 2007 squad? Oh, there's a lot of things. Um, I think it's the fact that. We're a, a wild card. We were a wild card team. Um, right. I've seen so many videos on this. Um, I think at that time in the 2000, what was it, 2008 team, right? You said 2009? 2007 and 2012. Yeah. Uh, Manning was a very young QB, right. and Jones is a very young QB. Um, so I think that's a similarity. They both stepped up in all their games. Um, throughout the season, and they both stepped up in their playoff games. Um, the coaching as well, Dave Ball is a very, I think he's here to stay for a while. He's He's been fantastic all season, especially during the playoff game. Um, very similar to Coughlin back then. And the defense, like I feel like we, back then in that team, it was a young team. And right now we're a young team. Um Defense reminds me of like uh, Strahan, like pass rusher, and then now we have Thibodeau, who's a very good pass rusher, and he's going to be like that for his whole career, I think. Um, so there's a lot of similarities with the team, and I think that they're going to play off of that. They they know that they're like that 08, 09, that whole little era right there, and they're going to play off of that era, like, okay. and I think they're going to play like that. It's for the playoffs, mm-hmm. get the momentum. I think the skills coach should get a little FaceTime going, get some of the guys <laughs> in there, face Cruz, Manning, get a little momentum yeah. going. Yeah, Manning's definitely be talking to some of the guys. <laughs> but yo, I'm not gonna hold you up. Let's go, Giants, no, you're baby. Good. Yep, let's go. We got this. Thank you for your time. You want to shout out your TikTok? Anything? Um, I mean my TikTok. I don't. Post on it a lot, but my TikTok is Respect the Yankee too. Okay. Um, I was a lot of baseball, but yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Have a good one. All right. Yeah. See you. Have a good one. Peace. If there's one thing New York does, New York's got New York. Like Harrison Bader said, let's pull it up. I mean, yeah, a little, a little different. Um, you know, obviously, I've always said in New York takes care of New York. So the way these guys just come out and support each other, the Giants, the Rangers. Moving on to the Rangers. Even the Yankees, they pull up. We got Aaron Judge, Anthony Rizzo, Harrison Bader, all sitting at the Rangers game. Just vibes. We got the Giants O-line, Coach the Bull. Caveon Thibodox. Moving on to the Rangers. How about them Rangers? Been on a run lately. What a December they just had. Moving on to the new year, they're, they're starting it off kind of strong. They currently sit third in the Metro. they just been on a roll lately. They face the Bruins tomorrow. Talking about them Bruins. How about them Bruins? Ah, ah. They're just unstoppable right now. I hate to say it, but hopefully we could walk away with the dub tomorrow. It wouldn't surprise me because this team shows no quit. And if we could walk away with the dub... By the time this goes up, most of you guys have already seen this insane goal by Keandre Miller with 0.9 seconds left. Less than a second. 
to tie the game up and send it to overtime where Adam Fox just drains one. Miller currently sits at 5 goals with 20 assists on the season. Not bad. Gets tons of breakaways. Plays a great defense game to extend the key. He's just been a stud. Let's talk Jacob Trubin. He's not my captain, BS. He's my captain, alright? We're not in that locker room with them. We don't know how it goes. We're not there. Feel the energy. They are. Truba, he's probably, I'm not, not probably, he's a leader in that locker room and on that ice. He may do stupid things. He's been starting to play a much solider game as of lately, and I hope to see it too. I want to see a better Truba too, guys. Trust me. But the big hits, who doesn't love the big hits besides the player getting it? And as those of you guys know, Trade deadline's coming up very soon. And there's some trades scrambling around regarding Alexis Lafreniere. And I don't know. I, I personally love the kid. I would love to see him develop. I would hate to see him go. But if this is what we do need to win, so be it. I want to win. I want the cup. But... As much as it hurts me, I would hate to see him go. I, I don't want to see him go. Put it like that. I believe that we could do what we could do with him. But if we need to evaluate, so be it. But things definitely been clicking. We are third in the Metro. Rangers been on a roll. Things are definitely clicking in that club. And how about Igor Shosturkin? Another Vesna type season going on already so far this season. Selected for the All-Star Game. He's just been an absolute stud so far. 20 wins and 7 losses on the season. With a 2.43 goal against average. And save percentage at a .918. Definitely solid. Igor's been doing his thing. Could we see another Vesna from Igor? Igor. Igor. If we're talking Rangers, though, we can't leave out my guy Mika Zabanejad. Absolute stud since he's been on the Rangers. He's got 20 goals, 26 assists on the season. He's just been an absolute stud. His 1T is lethal. And he could get up there too. Put it in there. Speaking of the Rangers. I recently went to the game against the Panthers in Florida. Beautiful stadium. Just kind of far away. Out in the middle of nowhere. But shout out. We got a puck boys. Jacob Troops. You're the man. Let's talk about the Rangers reverse retros. Honestly, I love them. I think they're amazing. But, however, when the Rangers wear them on the ice and play, we tend to not win games. However, I just ordered myself one. And if you could guess the player, I'll give you $5. You got 10 seconds in the comments. Time's up. It's Jacob Trouba with the C, baby. Let's go. Also got a Judge jersey on the way. Moving on to the Yanks. We got baseball season approaching. Let's go. Speaking of Judge, we all know Judge signed that huge contract. Resigned with the Yankees. He's a Yankee for life. And if you didn't know, are you living under a rock? I want to hear... Who you guys are most excited to see next season. Everyone is obviously judge, judge, judge. But me personally, I want to see Bader 
and Oswald Cabrera. Oswald Cabrera especially. See him develop. He's been a stud so far when we called him up. Can't wait to see him next season. Another big thing, Yankees left fielder. Who is it going to be? Hicks again. We got another problem at third base. Not defensively, but more so offensively. Josh Donaldson. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And no one wants him because this guy's got so much money devoted to him in payroll. And he sucks. But I wish the best of him. Hope he has an amazing 2023 season. Hopefully he could bounce back and show what he could do. Had a horrible 2022 season. Hit for 222. Knocked in 62 RBIs. Struck out 148 times. Another big signing the Yankees did this offseason was left-handed pitcher Carlos Rodon. Posted a 2.88 ERA while with the Giants in 2022. Honestly, one of the best lefties in the league right now. I'm hyped. Yankees probably got one of the best rotations right now. Cole, Rodon. Either Nestor or Luis Severino at that third spot. Fourth, Sevi. I guess Nestor is going to take third. And fifth hole. Montas has just been injured. Maybe Domingo Herman or Clark Schmidt. Who knows? Who's going to take that number five spot? Like I said, I'm most excited to see Oswald Cabrera develop more in the majors, but... I'm also excited to see all the kids. What I mean is Oswald Peraza, Oswald Cabrera, Oswaldo, my bad, and Anthony Volpe might not be called up on opening day, maybe so later in the season, but I'm still hyped to see these kids. I feel like it could be a, a start of a core of some sort. But the real question is, can we beat the Astros? Doesn't really matter till the end, does it? When you're a Yankees fan, at least. 27 this, 27 that. I want number 28. I want to finally beat the Astros. And personally, we didn't lose because of pitching last series. And we didn't lose to the Astros because of pitching in the ALCS. We lost because batting, my friend. I mean, Carlos Rodon is a great pickup, but I feel like we definitely should have added some offense, but who knows? Cashman might not be done. Maybe we could see some big trades before the season starts. Who knows? Cashman, come through. How many wins do you guys think we will win next year? I'm seeing a lot of theories on Twitter and Instagram around 104 wins. Personally, I think we win a calm 100. 99 to 100 range because of our pitching is elite now hopefully the offense produces we're winning 100 no doubt we're gonna bring up the local bronx lad michael nelly local yankees and knicks fan well-known giants hater we're gonna see what he has to say let's call him up local bronx legend michael nelly What's up? What's up? I bet we're going to talk a little Knicks. We're going to talk a little Yankees. Let's start off with I the Yankees. How much wins do you think we get next season? i say over 100. I think around 90 to 100 wins. I They're going to have a good season, though. I projected 100 to 104 max. With all the pitching additions, if our offense produces, pitchers aren't That shit's going to be insane. I think I'm our team got better over the offseason, obviously, with Carl Rodon and all that. And just Nestor developing. Lewis Fuck Severino. Yeah. Lewis Severino on his contract here. He's going to go off. I think he's going to go off. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely going to have an improvement from last season. And fucking Nestor Cortez is a solidified fucking good ass pitcher now. Freak. He's dumb good. How many home runs do you think Judge is in next season? I think 40. I think 
I think he's going to hit around 40. I don't think he's going to have a season like last year, but he's still going to play great. I think he's also going to bat around 300 still. Hitting 40 and hitting 300 for average is amazing. That'd be dumb good. I, yo, he got to stay healthy, though. Yeah. I say he, he plays around 130-ish games. I think last year he played 150, 152. <laughs> Yeah, he lot. was healthy all last year. You saw how what a healthy Aaron Judge could do. Yes, sir. Yo, what's the over or under on a uh, what's the over slash under on beers you slam at a Yankees game? Oh, fuck. All right, around like fucking. All right, let's say around like five like tall boys, five five Yankee tall boys, like before like at the game. Right. Let's go like five tall boys, bro. Like it depends what the game is, bro. Five like if it's and a half. five and a half, yeah, yeah. But what's yours? On a calm day, probably around the same five, five and a half. Yeah, yeah. But you can't be like it's mad bird. That's why you got pregame before the game. Yeah, 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 definitely. But yo, oh. with all these off season additions, we haven't added much bats. You think we got what it takes to beat the Astros? I don't think we need to add enough any more bats. You know what I'm saying? We didn't need to do any much more. I think we had a great batting. I think we just went cold against the Astros. So right. I think we just got to play him again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we there wasn't much we could have done. If we would have went into that series, is how hot we were at the beginning of the season, things would have definitely went differently. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a healthy Andrew Benintendi, a healthy Matt Carp. Yeah. We had Michael King. Yeah. Things would have definitely been different. And the Yankees kept it close all series. Like, all the games were close. They got swept, but, like, they could have won, like, the game when Aaron, Aaron Judge's home run got robbed, I think. Oh, my God. Don't remind me. Fuck. Uh, we're we're, we're going to move on to a little Giants. I see you're a Jets fan. A little Giants. Oh, yeah. We're not going to do too much about them. If we beat Philly this Saturday, what do you think? What's your I'm, I'm thinking, bro. I'm first of all, I, I I want them to win. OD, bro. I'm a, I'm a Giants fan now. Like right now, I'm a Giants fan. Like, bro, I think that's if good. they win, they're they're going to the Super Bowl. They're going to the Super Bowl. That's fair. That's fair. I think they're definitely going to beat San. Like San Fran's sacked, but if the Giants are hot like that, they're gonna. I think they're going to make the Super Bowl. If they beat Philly, that's the team they got to beat. Like if they they beat fucking Philadelphia. People are trying to say that Giants win was fluky, saying Minnesota's defense wasn't good, but I'll tell you, bro, the Giants played fucking great against them. Yeah, Daniel Jones went off. Hell yeah, Daniel Jones are fucking great. He's a great quarterback now. But, yeah, I ain't going to keep you for too much longer. We're going to move on to a little Knicks action. You watch the game as much more than I do. I can't really speak yeah, yeah. too, too much as much as you. But how, lo- how long have you been a Knicks fan? We'll start with that. I've been a Knicks fan since I was like fucking like eight, since eight birth, years old. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a, been a fucking tough while. You know what I'm saying? Ten years. But um, Fuck. what do you what do you think of the team so far this season? I think they're doing great, bro. I love Jalen Brunson. I think he was the best free agent signing oh in the yeah I, this all season. Totally agree. Totally agree. The Knicks are. I think they're definitely a playoff team. Definitely. Clear. Yeah, they'll make the play in. I don't want them. I want them to like make the playoffs, so not the play in, but they'll definitely be in the mix. Right. I don't yeah. think. I think the most they won't make it past the second round. No, they don't. They need another guy. Yeah. And I think they could make a trade. I think Julius Randle looks great. Also, they're. I wouldn't trade Julius Randle now anymore, even though his fucking his stock is skyrocketing. Stock is probably going up, dude, by day by day. Yeah, facts. He's playing great, so fuck. Currently twenty five and twenty right now. Hopefully, we could end in a winning season. That would Knicks are twenty five and twenty as of right now. Yep. Oh, that's fucking. That's pretty good. That's good. Go. Oh, that's a game on fucking Monday, bro. They like, fucking wow. But with Barrett fucking hit a dunk. To send it to overtime, and it should have been a fucking and one, but that's besides the point. Because like, fucking, when we got to overtime, Barrett missed a fucking free throw. Then right after, Randall missed a fucking free throw, which uh, fucked the game. The vibes weren't there. Yeah. Yeah, but 
Last question. What do you think about this slander going on that MSG isn't the best arena? Bro, well, first of all, that, like, I don't know who be, like, that's the most bullshit fucking statement I've ever heard. MSG is like, the most famous arena in the world. It's the, gra- it's the greatest arena of all time. Greatest. Yeah, MSG's a shit, bro. It's fire. Doesn't get anything like it. Especially when you walk <laughs> out a game, you just see the whole city. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't get that nowhere. It's so fucking sick. But, yo, I appreciate you for pulling up, Nelly. All right, bro. You're take care. Man. It was a, it was a fucking honor being on this podcast. Is it a goat? Let's go Yankees. Let's go Knicks. Thank you, bro. You want to plug Let's go Instagram? Rangers too, bro. Let's go Rangers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yo. Follow the real Michael Nelly on Instagram. Follow up. Pop the ad up. Let's go. Yeah. Appreciate you for coming through, my boy. All right. Take care, lad. Take care, bro. Have a good one. The Knicks and Rangers both playing MSG. They both went on a little seven gamer at one point. They were hot. It was hot in MSG. Things were clicking. Fortunately, that came to an end. Been struggling a little bit as of lately. But hopefully they can pick it back up. Give us the Bronson combo, RJ Barrett. Things are clicking. Things are clicking. But I think that's going to wrap up this pod. I want to thank you guys all for watching till the end of this very first RYGK pod. It's a very special episode. I appreciate you guys all for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, or follow if you're watching on Spotify. Thank you guys. Peace.